Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to tell you how to fix this application can't be open error on Mac. So if you ever get an error on Mac, like if you open an application, for example, if you open anything from below here, and if you get an error that this application can't be open, uh, I have a solution for that. So uh, there are indirect solutions. There's no direct solution. Uh, and I'm going to tell you how to do it. What I mean by direct or indirect is that there is no specific uh, alternative software or third-party software through which you can sort it out. There is no special command that you can execute to sort it out. You just have to find the problem yourself. And there might be a variety of problems which are causing this error. So the first thing that you need to do is you have to go here to system settings. And you have to go here to general and software update and make sure that your MacBook is using the latest software versions because sometimes due to software incompatibility, you might be getting these issues. Uh, after just finding out that your software is updated and it's the latest one, the next thing that you can do is you can go here to storage and check the storage as well because sometimes due to... Uh, insufficient size insufficient space uh, you, you might be getting this error so if you are having a situation where the storage is cramped up then you can sort it out you can just you know remove some files that you don't need and this uh, thing this section here will tell you how much memory is allocated by things on your mac so you can just open these things up and you can just clear them out like this so this was the second thing that you can do. Uh, another thing which I I can tell you is that you have to close this and you have to uninstall that specific app. For example, if uh, let me just show you how you can do it. And I'll go here to applications. Now, if this uh, application right here is causing the problem, so what I can do is I can uninstall the application and then when i'll click move to ben it will be uninstalled and i'll uninstall all the files as well in fact what we can do is we can do this and then we can delete all the files that are here that means every single file will be removed and this application will be uninstalled so this is another thing that we can do uh to fix that uh, issue uh, the specific application is having and uh, sometimes it's just due to a bug in that software. Uh, so uh, after you uninstall it, after you uh, uninstall it and then reinstall the application, the issue gets sorted out. So these were the things that you have to do in order to fix this error that you're getting on the Mac. Another thing that you can do is sometimes it can happen because your RAM is totally occupied and you don't have any random access memory. So what you can do is you can go here to terminal. Oh no, sorry. You have to go here to activity monitor. My mistake. And once when you're here, you have to click on memory. And this will show how much memory is being consumed and how much pressure is there on your memory. Now, if you have an application running in the background that you don't know of, and if that application is causing a lot of pressure on your memory, for example, I have this application Final Cut Pro, which is a very heavy software. I have it running in the background and I've closed it, but it's not closed from here. Like there's this dot here. That means the background applications are still running. This will come up here and it will show that this uh, Final Cut Pro is causing a lot of pressure on my memory. So what we can do is we can just click on it for example, if this is Final Cut Pro, we can click on it and then we can click close and that will be it. So these were the things through which you can just sort this issue out. Uh, I hope this video was informative. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.